Welcome back to Diddly Squat Gaming. Today we are going to look at unlocking the quarry. So I've I've had a little poke around and it turns out if you go to your contracts under I'm going to pronounce it Taiga oil. Uh, probably a silent I so it would just be Taiga or Taiga. Uh, but we'll just call it Taiga. Yeah, that's easier. Taiga oil. Uh, anyway, so if you go into geological exploration, uh, you do these three scans and then that will unlock looking beyond the horizon. And that is how you access the gateway. So you, you kind of just have to unlock or looking beyond the horizons. That's the, the, the ticket that unlocks the actual gateway, but that uh, contract is locked behind the geological exploration. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and activate it. And uh, yeah, we have to go back to the, Ooh, actually, you know what? Let's yeah, let's get into the as off. Cause I think that's the truck I'm going to use. Yeah, I think that's the truck we're going to use. Um, so actually we're, we're already technically in it. So, uh, is there a trailer store somewhere around here? No, of course not. So yeah, there, I mean, there's one there. We could probably let's hit this one up. We'll drop the trailer off because I'm not leaving trailers around. I'm going to do everything I can. We are in morning, aren't we? Oh no, we're in evening. All right, there we go. Uh, yeah, it pretty much looks exactly the same. So let's go ahead. We got to take a left here. It looks deceiving, but we are going to drop off this trailer and then we're going to recover and pick up the geological equipment, the scanner, and then we are going to start scanning. And then once that's done, we are going to do the, uh, the actual mission to unlock the quarry so that we can, uh, we can head off to the quarry. So, but yeah, it uh, was a little bit of digging to try to find how to do this. But all in all, we now we now know how to do it. So, hopefully, if you guys didn't know how to do it before, you can watch my video, and it will actually be a helpful. Uh, I guess it's a tip, a trick. Um, what do they call it? I, I, I don't know why I'm blanking on this right now. Um, but yeah, it's going to be one of those videos that actually helps other people out. So, um, especially if you're new to the game, because I'm not going to lie. It can be very uh, daunting of a game to try to learn how to play. I mean, it's it's pretty simple. You, 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 you know, it's not overly complicated to learn how to play, but there's a lot of little tricks and hints and things like that. And, I found when I first started playing this game that the menus, the menus and the setups and the task were the, the thing that drove me nuts because I would drive over a task and it would pop up and it would say what the task was, but if you didn't activate it, then you couldn't go to your menu and, and recall that mission when you wanted to do it. And so that, that drove me nuts forever because I was driving, I, I wasted so much time driving from one point to the another point because I thought I had to be on the actual, or in the actual square to uh, activate it. And then I realized, I think almost all the way through Michigan that I, uh, I realized that, oh, you can just activate it and then it kind of gets scored under your menu. So, uh, and, and it's not... And it's not uh, this where you, because this drove me nuts too, is I believe there would be a category here for task. And then you could click it and it would take you over there, but there was no way to activate it because it wasn't activated yet. So then you had to drive to it. And it just, it drove me nuts that um, I'm trying to like, I start these missions or activate them from the menu and not knowing that you actually have to drive to them to hit activate and then you could go back because I'm like I didn't really notice it at first and then I you know went to do another task and it wasn't 
it wasn't allowing me to pick it out of the menu and I was like, I know it was in the menu. I selected it before because I had activated that task and then came back to it. Uh, but this task I didn't activate, so therefore it was just, yeah, it was just a little confusing. So, um, but yeah, we'll, we will, we will call this a help video or a, a tips and tricks video. And, um, I don't even know if I'm on a road right now. <laughs> I don't think I am. Uh, let's get on this road and then figure out where we need to go. Uh, yeah, well, you know what? I did not go anywhere near the road that I was supposed to take, but you know what? We made it to the same spot in the end, so that should be good. But yeah, so it's just, it's a little frustrating with the way that the menus are set up. Uh, when you first start, obviously, once you get the, the hang of it and, and figure things out and, 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 and basically look stuff up on YouTube you can uh you, it kind of starts becoming second nature so but yeah we're about a quarter of a mile away so i'm pretty sure that's a mile seeing on how my uh gauges are in gallons and not kilometers which you know what i i'm not surprised it, it kind of feels like a quarter of a mile like that's about a tenth of a mile so I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that is in kilometers. Um, because you have this, what, where is it here? Uh, distance traveled, right? I think that's in, I think that's in kilometers. So, but anyways, not overly important. If anyone knows, please let me do. Please let me know in the comments after you give me a thumbs up for liking this awesome video. Um, and yeah, I'm uh, always guessing at things, so <laughs> hopefully I guess right, but please, please feel free if I do make a guess and I'm completely wrong. I used to, uh, I used to make guesses about some of these trucks, right? Because I'm like, oh, I, I think the MKZ or MKX or whatever, I, don't, I can't even name, remember the name of the truck. I'm like, I think that's a Russian truck because... You can only buy those trucks in Russia. And I thought it was weird that you could find it in uh, the uh, in Michigan, which is obviously the US. And uh, then I was told by a subscriber that uh, no, that in fact, uh, I believe it was modeled after an AMG uh, truck. So it was technically American. I was like, oh, cool. All right. Good to know. <laughs> I don't want to spread rumors that, you know, this truck's Russian or that truck's from the US or that truck's from, I don't know, wherever. Uh, you know what? I was going to drive all the way there, but I remembered we can just recover, uh, which will save us a lot of time. So let's go into frame add-ons. I believe the scanner. Yes, the scanner is on here, uh, which I believe. Oh, that's the first time I actually bought the thing. Uh, Yeah, it is the seismic scanner, right? That would be bad. I grabbed the wrong thing. Yeah, seismic vibrator module required. So if you ever have any piece of equipment that you need and you're not sure which one it is, under the uh, the contracts tab, if you select it under the company, uh, it will tell you right there in red, you know, and a lot of times it will tell you oh, you need a high saddle or low saddles required or uh, a crane is recommended, I think, is another one that pops up. So if you're ever confused about a, a mission or a task uh, and you don't know what piece of equipment you need, that's how you can find out. So, uh, so yeah, first of all, I guess. Oh, look at that. That just answered my question about how far away things are. Um, so we got to go 0.62 miles north of the point. Scan the north point. So I'm assuming that's in the north. <laughs> there are no markers for this mission. So this is a blind um, find your way or choose your own path, I guess is the best way to explain it. So and uh, the markers will pretty much just uh, keep getting closer and closer to zero. So um, 
yeah, so we can just uh, kind of just start off and, and go. We're a half a mile out, so... If you do that, you can think, okay, well that's clearly not... Even though it's going down in that direction. So if I had to guess... Yeah, we're we're somewhere over here for that first marker. Uh, and so... Yeah, we'll go for that one because all the other markers are really far away. In fact, that's about where the third marker is. So, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try this out and see uh, where we need to go. So we just want to keep watching, and I, I'm gonna do it like this, where I watch the top one because that's obviously the closest marker at the moment. So we're gonna try to head in that direction until we get to zero, and I believe it starts activating like the, it starts making a beeping noise when you when you get closer so and then you will uh well i'll show you when i get there <laughs> uh but you go in your, your action menu or your i guess it's your functions menu yeah your function menu and then uh let's see activate Um, okay, well apparently you can't, maybe you can't do it until, uh, until you are beeping, so once you get closer it should say activate seismic or something along those lines and click that one and it does the thing, so. But don't worry, I'll show you. I'm getting ahead of myself for some reason. I'm trying to explain everything as we're driving through this dreary rainy day, fog, and rain more fog. Sorry, I don't know why I'm spinning my camera around like crazy. Um, so now we're down to three points. So now we're actually getting farther away. Uh, but I know this road kind of curls back. So we're going to head up this trail here. And we're going to see where we are once we get to that point there. So hopefully it, uh, hopefully it won't, um, take too long. Yeah, I'm not even sure that's what I wanted to say. That's just what my mind kind of spit out. <laughs> I think I was going to say something along the lines is hopefully it won't be too difficult because we are going off road. Uh, but yeah, my uh, my brain had a little freezing moment or brain freeze or blonde moment or whatever you want to call it. And uh, yeah, brain fart. That's probably my favorite one to say, because I swear it's what it is. I have a nice little brain fart and forget what I'm about to say. <clears throat> so I'm like, I, have, I go into panic mode and I'm like, I gotta say something so I'm not just dead air because I'm on a mic and I'm recording and I'm talking to people. So, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't, yeah. yeah, it's one of those things. So I think we're moving on. Ah, uh, this trail's looking like it's a little muddy. But uh, nothing the truck can't handle. And I probably would have used the dairy for this. Um, I still I still give that truck a slight edge, except for the fact that I don't think we can fit the seismic on it. So, and uh, don't trust any of those bridges. That's all I gotta say, because a lot of these bridges, they'll uh, they'll screw you up pretty quick. So. It's like this one here. It looks like it's a, oh, it's a, it's a nice, it's a nice level bridge. Yeah, well, it's not very nice and it's not very level. And if you take it wrong or if you're pulling a trailer and you get stuck. Okay, so I think we have to go somewhere up here. So do I want to go that route? Yeah, let's go up this way. Why not? It looks nice and dangerous. And I honestly don't think we'll be going up this way ever again, so let's go check it out. Famous last words, I end up uh, rolling it or something. We're getting horribly stuck. <laughs> that would be no good. That would not make for a fun time, so. 
But yeah, we are getting we are getting pretty close, so this thing should start. I forgot what the numbers were. Uh, but there's a certain distance away, it starts beeping, and then you get to an, the second distance closer, and then it starts uh, picking up the pace of the beeping. And I don't know, I don't know if it starts flashing, because, I mean, I can activate my beacons. So I'm like, I feel like that's just the beacons on my truck, so. But I, I prefer to actually run with those off, because, um... The strobing effect can kind of cause seizures in people, so I'd prefer not to have those on and, you know, I don't want to throw anyone into a seizure if they're uh, watching this and they're prone to seizures, so. Oh, there's the beeping I was talking about, by the way. We are getting dead deadly close. In fact, tell you the truth, the marker that I put down is almost in perfect location. It's only 0 0.3, 0 0.2 off. So it's probably like 2.5 off. Which I gotta say, is, that's pretty good. <laughs> and no, I have I have no clue where these are. I didn't look them up. I don't have a map that I'm looking at. Um, okay, it's going down still. So you want to be careful. Because that right there it went up. So I think we still gotta come this way. Um, so you want to watch that uh, number, but you also want to pay attention to where you're going. I'm going in circles. There we go. I think we can go ahead and... Uh, no, nope, nothing yet. Let's keep heading over in this direction. Oh, that's going up now. Alright, let's go left a little bit more. Oh. All right, let's see if I can figure this out. Okay, we're back to point one. Okay. So I think now we can lock our parking brake. And... Oh my... I'm looking over on the left-hand side and I'm like, attach winch, stop engine, change truck, delete trailer, recover. Yeah, no, it's not there. It's under... It's, it's the exact same spot that the crane... So it's the square button. That's the one I wanted, so I feel kind of silly. <laughs> oh well. Alright, and so that's done. And apparently that was close enough to find whatever whatever they're looking for. Uh, so now we have to sit here and say, okay, we need the west side. So the compass now is pointing, pointing north. Um, so obviously, never eat soggy worms, never eat shredded weeds, never... What was the other one? There's another one. I just drew a blank. Never explain. You know what? Hold on. I don't think I'm allowed to say it anymore. Uh, <laughs> I think it had something to do with silly women. Never explain silly women? No. I don't remember what it was. But there was definitely a third one that you would always get the chuckle or the snicker in, in junior high or... or Maybe even elementary school, I don't honestly remember anymore. <laughs> so we're just gonna uh, try to get out of here as best as we can. And I'm gonna head towards the west point. Am I even on a road? Not even close. Uh, so the road's kind of down here at the bottom of the hill. Um, can we get out of this? Because I kind of screwed that up. Okay, good. <laughs> That's a little too steep there. Okay, we're better off going this way and then down. There we go. Yeah, I, I know I'm completely off the trail. I'm just four wheeling it right now. Um, in fact, I'm gonna head to the left more. I'm not even going to attempt to try to go down there because that trail is not looking pretty. Alright, so now we can head west. Although this is kind of still sketchy. Let's try to climb uphill. 
remember, try to point your vehicle uphill. <laughs> And that should help you from tipping over. And if you start tipping, always turn your wheels into the tip. So uh, it, it's pretty much the same if you're driving and the back end of your car slides out because of the snow. You turn into the drift. And that will counter steer. And that should keep you from uh, ending up backwards on the, the highway or road or wherever you are. So. Remember, turn into the turn into the tip. All right, so I'm not even watching the point. Uh, we are kind of on a uh, scout trail right now. Probably didn't pick the best path to take, but you know what? Point uh, the West Point is getting closer, although it's kind of not getting that close. So. It, Tells me that it's more south than it is north, but we'll uh, we'll get to a decent road and then head in the right direction. Uh, I think it just went up actually. Yep, yeah, it's going up now. So, but that's okay. I'm okay with it going up. We are going to head south here, and this is going to be kind of a tricky turn. Um. Oh, I don't know how I want to do this. Oh, uh, you know what? Let's just go for it. Getting always on the, the ready to throw the winch. But that's the thing. If you're looking this way and you're tipping away from the camera right now, that would be bad because that's the side it's going to throw your winch on. So there's another little tip for you. If you know you're going to tip, Turn your camera to the way the tip truck is tipping and then you want to throw your winch to the opposite side and hopefully that will, uh, if you do it fast enough, you'll catch yourself and uh, you shouldn't tip over because the winch will now hold you from tipping over. And that allows you to drive out of the tip and hopefully keep yourself from rolling over. So uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm just full of tips today, I, I, I don't know what to say. All right, so now that we're back on a road, let's pay attention. Yep, the numbers are going down still, so that's good. You know, the nice thing about this mission is that uh, once we're done, we can just recover because <laughs> we won't uh, we won't need the need the seismograph for a while, unless we want to go ahead and jump right into the other ones. But I would make sure that they uh, they unlock first. Because I think they are actually locked. Alright, let me uh, get rid of that. I'm going to guess... That was more south. I bet you it's in the swamp somewhere. Oh wow, maybe not. <laughs> yeah, definitely not in that swamp. Is it going down? Okay, the top one's going up. But I definitely know we're he obviously heading north. Alright. I'm gonna take that road anyways that the swamp's on. Uh that's a that's a speed challenge or whatever, so we're not gonna worry about that. I think we have all the tasks for this uh this map done, so. And that's that's the whole idea of unlocking the quarry so that we can go check out the quarry, get upgrades, get watchtowers, and get uh, get the task done over there as well. All right, so if we just go straight through the swamp, sticking towards the power, uh, the telephone power lines. Ooh, what? Holy! Wrap. <laughs> that just kind of came out of nowhere. Okay, there we go. All right, so avoid that hole for sure. Like that was that was me not paying attention. 
Um, we almost, we almost sucked in some uh, water <laughs> into our in intake. Like that's our snorkel was the closest it's ever been to water in this truck. I should I should clarify that in this truck. Let's try to definitely winch through this mud puddle because it's, uh, of course you would pick the tree that is going to just disappear. Alright, I think what we can do is we can jump to that tree now. Nope. Okay. The winch is just doing whatever it wants to do right now, so we're just gonna, we're just gonna give her. Alright, so the uh, West Point is going down, so that's a good start. Very important. Alright, uh, do 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 do. And yeah, if you guys have any questions about me or what I do or what I plan on doing with the series, uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be about SnowRunner. Uh, just let me know in the comments. I'll, uh, I'm a pretty open person, so uh, I usually don't get offended. So I'm not going to be like, oh my god, I can't believe that you asked me what I do for a living and get all offended over it. Like, No, that's not going to happen. I'm, if that's the case, I might just ignore the question, <laughs> but chances are I'll answer it. Um, and chances are we gotta figure out where we're going, so the West Point is still going down. So... Man, I don't, I don't know where this West Point would be. Well, you know what? That road there is pretty much exactly how far away we are. So, I might just start heading that way, which means I'm going to want to cut across here and work my way through this, I'm going to call it a half-ass trail because it honestly doesn't look like, uh, it doesn't look like a trail at all, so, and uh, fingers crossed this, this puddle isn't as deep as the last one that we tried to go through. And apparently I should have got a running start. Yep, and oh we do we can reach there, but we cannot reach anywhere else. Uh attach winch. We are so close. Come on, truck. How are we going to turn this truck around? Alright, I think we're gonna have to go around. That is definitely way too soggy for this truck to get through. And this is this is where bad decisions get made, right? Like we can't go anywhere under our own power. I you're gonna work. I mean, it's kind of moving now. Although we move in, we move in automatic and we move in low, so I don't really think any gear right now is helping. Um, so let's try to let's try to get across here. We should be able to reach those trees. Ooh, -hoo. again, super deep. That's amazing. I love it. I'm glad that they, you know, they actually made puddles that we could more or less ground in. Um, I'm going to manually attach to there. And look at that, even this big tree we are bending. 
trying to get this truck out. Oh, okay. I think we're good now. Oh, uh, you're never, you're never actually good in SnowRunner. <laughs> you're always moments away from absolute disaster. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to guess that, uh, we're going to be pretty lucky if we get done with this mission in this episode. It is uh, taking a little bit longer than I thought, but... Oh, come on. Seriously? You're going to stop me from getting through? There we go. Just, uh, if you do end up getting stuck like that, just drop your winch out and start winching and it should snap the, uh, the branches. Alright, I'm gonna actually head this way because I think it clears. I think I'm a little too far on top of the hill. Yeah, but I do, I do want to stay around the trees because they are awesome winch points. Um, because that looks like it's a nightmare. And yeah, we want to go up to the right. And then we should be on that trail that honestly looks like it was made 40 years ago and hasn't been used since. Alright, let's see. We are 0.14 away. Alright, so yeah, that point's not exactly it, but that's not surprising. It is, though, very close, so I think we're going to start beeping pretty soon. Now that we're under 10, yep. Okay, now I do wish, I do wish they would have made it, um, oh, now we're farther away. Uh-oh, is it that way? No, that's way too far. Oh, that is, no. There is no way we're getting through there. Ooh, that's not going to be fun. Like, there is no way you're getting through that mess. Um, you know what? Even that trail back there is going to be a nightmare. I think we're going to have to go this way. We're going to have to go this way and come through here. And maybe, maybe somewhere in there. So we're going to have to go ring, ring around the rosy, I guess, and, and try to get on the other side. Because now that's, yeah, we're getting farther away now. That's all right. That's, that's, I guess, the name of the game. Although we are getting closer to the south point, so... Oh good, look, radiation. Now, I, I, from what I understand, because I've never played uh, Mudrunner, but apparently when you went into zones like this that were radioactive, it actually caused damage to your truck. So if you were in here for a long period of time, you would start taking damage. Now, the damage was slow. Like, you could be in here for, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes probably. Um, it wasn't like, oh, you have 10 seconds to get out or your truck's going to just disintegrate. Uh, but I do wish that they still implemented that in this part of the game. Because it just, it just adds that little, uh, that little element to the game where you actually have to pay attention to where you are, where you're going. And, uh, yeah, what the toxicity of the city is. And if you can, well, I guess I gave away the name of the song. Um, but yeah, tell me the artist that sings that song that I just referred to. Um, I, do we take the railroad trail? Maybe we do? Oop, uh, maybe we don't? 
Maybe we do? Oh, I just blew a tire. Alright, well, you know what? It was a back tire, so I'm not going to worry about it. Oh, what is this? There's a little thingy here. Is this a... Oh, it's the gateway. Why is there a train gateway? That doesn't make any sense. Oh my god, that swamp looks like it's horribly impassable. Yeah, obviously. Um, yeah guys, I really don't know how the uh, heck we're supposed to get back there. Like, even if we come up here... Which honestly was surprisingly easy. This wood is pretty thick. And we're not any closer. Well, you know what? I guess we'll squeeze through here. I may have made a grave uh, error in trying to find this point. Nope, don't you tip over. I'm stuck on something. There we go. Come on, get off that tree. Alright, we're a tenth of a mile there. We're almost there. Okay, at least we're beeping again. I don't know what or where or how I was supposed to get back here. Like, there's no clear path. But you know what, we're 0.7, we're 0.6. We're 0.5. Can I just do it from here? Like 0.4? Nope, oh, can't do it yet. 0 0.3. 0 0.2. Do we have to go in the water? I'm going to be so angry if we do. 0 0.3. Uh oh. No. All right, let me skip to. I'm gonna skip to early afternoon, uh, just so we can see what the what we're doing. Um, so somehow I have to squeeze back through here. That's not gonna happen. So let's just go forward and try to turn around. And we are now stuck because we're sinking in the mud. Let's just get rid of all the pine trees because apparently that's all. All it wants to do is attach the pine trees. Alright, we've turned around. I think we gotta go into the water. I'm hoping it's not on the other side of the water. Well, if it is, let's go across here because at least then we have something to anchor to. Come on, where's point one? Give me point one. I'm not gonna lie, there's point one. The beeping gets a little annoying after a while. Just a little bit. Is that good enough? No. Come on, we're ever so close. We're so close. Nope. Uh, let's try to go to the right. Nope. 
Well, that's getting farther away. Let's go back this way. Let's just back her up. <laughs> there we go. We found it. Okay. Um, so there you go. Holy crap, that was a tough one. I don't I don't know how we did that. If you guys do these this mission, use this truck cuz I don't know of any truck that would have been able to get to this point. So I don't I don't even see a good route to take. Like I I originally had wanted to try to weasel through here to come around, which would have been smarter than going the way that I did. But I just don't see an amazing way to get through here. So um And I'm not going to lie, I don't see an amazing way to get out of here, so I'm going to take the cheating road. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to recover. Just because that is a, a nightmare to try to get out of. Um, and to believe it or not, we're actually closer now than we were where we were, so... Um, yeah, if you guys want to go that route, that's probably the best route to go. Is to uh, get that quest point taken care of because I mean I don't know where the south point is but I can't imagine it being harder than the west point all right I think uh yeah well, I think we'll take our favorite trail to the left here and we'll head down that way and try to figure out where this south point is um if I had to guess uh, just because that's north, this is south. We go down this way. Oh. We're gonna be... We, we would technically be farther, so I'm gonna say... I'm gonna guess here. And honestly... Yeah, honestly, I'm gonna go this way. We're going to actually go straight. We're going to follow the asphalt to the trailer. Which I put in such a wonderful spot because that's kind of the fort, right? <laughs> kind of splits up the map. Um, luckily, I haven't really used, needed to use it for gas, but I think I have. So it was, it was definitely worth putting out there. are going away, which I suppose is a good thing. Uh, I know we're not going directly to where we need to go right now, but... Ah! Crap! I fell off the road. <laughs> I'm in the ditch! <laughs> Whew! That was close. Don't text and drive, guys. It's very dangerous. And it's against the law. Alright, so... Let's see here. We should be... Nowhere near... Our turnoff point yet. <laughs> yeah, I'm still going with my original guess. I think that will get us to a pretty good spot. But we do have to we do have to head pretty far west, so Don't watch the rock. Yep, I'm just gonna watch myself roll over it. Alright, now we're getting closer. Tell me you're going now. Okay, good. That's a positive way to go. And it's going down pretty quick too, so that's always a wonderful sign. And now it's going to go back up. Okay. 
That tells me we're heading in the correct direction. Although my marker is horribly off and I drove into the ditch again. But at least that time I wasn't reading text messages. I was trying to figure out where the, the hell I'm going. Alright, so this should start dropping pretty quick now. I think... I think I'm just going to cut through the town. And then we will kind of take a guess at whether or not we go left or do we go right. Because we are pretty far away still. I think we're, yeah, we're 0.3 away from our marker. But we're still 0.7 away from the actual point. I don't need gas, I don't need a repair, and I don't need a trailer. And I don't need to hit that corner because that will destroy our tires. Actually, I, I felt like that almost was enough to uh, cause damage. Okay, so we're still going down. Kinda stopped, so I think we have to go to the left. But we'll see. It did go down. Alright, let's go let's go left here. Okay, went went down pretty fast there, so should be seven soon, yep. I think we're still on the right track. And I guess Is it there? No, we're farther away. Like I hope it's not over here. Could be. Alright, let's see if, uh, if I follow the car road around. If it goes up, then I know I'm going in the wrong direction, so therefore it has to be the other way. Okay, so it's going down still. So I, I was right. I did have kind of my original guess was over, over by where I put my marker. And then I second guessed myself. Uh, that has not paid off for me well this year, or for this uh, this week actually. Oh, hindsight. Ooh, whoa. Well, oh, that was that was a little deep. Alright, so point four four. It's not too bad. Not too much farther. You have to figure out. I'm gonna go the opposite. Okay, I think I'll cut through the town and jump on this trail here. I think I can just go straight through the fences and all that fun stuff. Go right through the pumpkin patch. Although, I think I can just get around. I go this way and then turn in. Oops. Yep, just crash into a building. Because somebody put a pole in, right in the middle of this path. So that was worth it. We'll just cut through here. Oh! Ouch! Really? That was unnecessary. Man, that's the second time. 
That's the second time this episode. Yeah, I guess I guess we'll go this way. Uh, let's pay attention to the numbers. Where exactly is the tire that went flat? Uh, okay, it's that tire. Repair. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Ooh, suspension's bad. Okay, it was that tire. So that's now fixed. So as long as we don't cut through any other shortcuts, we should be okay. Although our suspension is down to 25 hit points. Um, so the number is... I haven't even been paying attention to it. It is going down. Alright, so... Maybe I was wrong. Maybe it's not around that quarry or whatever that is. This little pond area. If I keep heading in this direction, does it... Oh, it's going up yet. So maybe I am right. Maybe it is back to the left. Alright, let's see what happens. This should drop pretty quick if I'm heading in this direction. Come on, point three. Yay! Okay, we'll follow this road for a while. Come on! Point two seven, so we're a quarter mile away. I love how I answered my own question in this episode. <laughs> I didn't know how far away it was and then it kind of dawned on me. Actually, kind of slapped me in the face. Point six or point one six, sorry. Um, yeah, I'm gonna guess it's right behind that house. Don't fall off the bridge. That would be bad. Okay, so we are really close now. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna head into the woods and see what happens. Close, are we close? Are we close? Point one, there we go. Awesome. Alright. I was hoping to do two missions in this episode, but the seismic is a little on the difficult side. Uh it's very it's very complicated and off-road, I guess. Uh but yeah, we got almost 10 grand for that, so that just kinda goes to show how complicated it is. <laughs> So, and complicated in this game just means you have to drive in difficult terrain. So, uh, why don't we go ahead? Let's let's take a look here first. Uh, we did get a radioactive fossils. Ooh, that looks like it's not gonna be fun. No, I'm just kidding. It should be fun. Okay, so I gotta pick up two containers to go to the factory, and then four containers to go to the Four containers. That's a big load. We're going to have to bust out the train. Maybe we're going to have to buy two Azoths or or possibly do a uh, Azoff Dairy Longhorn combo. I don't, I don't I don't think we've done a train like that before. So but we're going to let that one go because we are we are looking for something else. We are looking for, but on the horizon. So the second you unlock 
the menu comes on the top here. So what do we need? Okay, we definitely need a flatbed trailer. We need a cargo container, which I believe is a two spot. And then there's two spots there and then that makes it a five spot. So, uh, but we're dropping off here. So yeah, let's go ahead and recover. And uh, shall we take the dairy? Where is the dairy? There's the dairy. Uh, ooh, the dairy has a trailer, but... Hmm. I don't want to leave this just floating here. Ah, uh, dilemmas, dilemmas, dilemmas. You know what? The trailer store is right here. Let's... Let's fire this up. Come on. Nope. Why were you in reverse? You weird truck view. Uh, yeah, so let's just follow this out of the woods. In fact, you know what? Let's, uh... Let's get this one out of the woods, too. We're turning that one on, because... Yeah, I want to. This is a pretty tight path, so hauling that one is going to be a nightmare. Yep, because now it, uh, I'm assuming it's stuck on a tree. Yep. Alright, so let's just get this truck out for now, I guess. We'll worry about the other one later. I want my money and I want it now. That almost sounded like Veronica Salt. Veronica, sorry, not Veronica. I think Veronica is the band, isn't it? Where, where did the band take Veronica Salt? I just, I remember Veronica for some reason. Anyways, um, geez, do I go left or do I go right? I guess I go right. Right. <laughs> right, right? Actually, let's throw the diff lock on. Jeez. Oh, come on. I'm in the mud. Thank you. There's no way that diff lock is binding right now. Here, if anything, when I turn it would bind. But it shouldn't because I'm in mud, so... Don't tell me there's not enough slippage. Alright, anyways, let's just go into auto. Let's try to get this back because we are slowly running out of time. In fact, I got a feeling we might be perfect by the time I get everything said and done and locked up, but I am going to use this one for this next mission. I feel like I've used the, uh, used the Azov a lot lately, so let's change it up a little bit. In fact, should we change the color? You know what, if somebody wants the color changed on this truck, um, because I gotta recover it anyways, let me know. We'll paint it another color. Ooh. Ooh, oh, there we go. That helps out a lot. I forgot how much light is on this truck. That's what I need to do. I need to add a light bar and things like that to the Azov. Uh, so maybe, maybe since it's in the garage, we'll do that too. And let me know on the Azov as well. Color scheme. And please pick one that I have. <laughs> I don't want to come back with a uh, response of, yeah, we want a teddy bear plastered on the side of our truck. Because I don't have that. And I can't do that, so. If you, if you request a uh, color, please make sure it's something that I would have. And I think it would just be stock. I don't think I have any of the updates or upgrades or whatever. Special colors. Um, although I do have season one and two pass, I believe. Yeah, I think I bought the one and two pass. Anyways, not important. 
Let's uh, sell this trailer. Get our 6,400 bucks back. And uh, yeah, let's recover. Nope. Recover, not remove cargo. Uh, so this truck. Let's customize that real quick. Because... Yeah. We've got a vent visor. Meh. We got... Stock wheel wells. Can I take them off? I guess not. Uh, front bumper. That's four lights versus three. Ooh. I guess let's do heavy duty pipe. Why not? We've got the money. And that's fine. That I really don't care about. Oh, is there no... What? I guess that's the only lights we get to add on. I thought there was a... The roof bar that goes across with the... Uh, whatchamacallits on it. Okay, yeah, so I have that one and that one. That's my two DLCs, so whatever those ones came with. That one's kind of an old retro color. I'm kind of digging it, but let, yeah, let me know what color you want this truck. And, uh, yeah, what color you guys want this truck, because I don't think I have any special ones. Scroll all the way to top, because that's where they are. Oh, I got this DLC, but I think we've used this one for now. Or before, so. Um, yeah. Anyways. Uh, let's pick a color for that. And pick a color for this one. Uh, why, why not, right? We'll change it up a little bit. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. I actually went over by a minute 20, probably by the time I'm done talking, a minute 45. Uh, but, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Please give me a thumbs up and like and subscribe. Hit the notification for me releasing new content because I do release content Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And I'm also doing a special farming simulator series on Saturdays as well. So, uh, if you want to join that, please do so. And by all means, stop in and say hi. And we will see you in the next episode. Bye for now. <laughs>